Thanks, Ty. Ten people in Michigan are being monitored tonight for Ebola. The Michigan Department of Community Health says the people are travelers who recently spent time in West Africa. They're now being required to self-monitor for symptoms. NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph in the newsroom tonight with more for us. Walter, does this mean Michigan is a higher threat now for Ebola? Not quite, Bill. Health officials tell me there's no threat to the general public, but they want these travelers to check their temperatures twice daily to make sure symptoms do not develop. Local health officials say there's no need to panic, and while not likely, they're ready to jump into action if there is a confirmed case of Ebola in Michigan. Ten people now being monitored by the Michigan Department of Community Health for a possible Ebola. Health officials say they're low-risk travelers returning from West Africa. Having people return at low risk does not increase the risk to the general public. These are people who do not have any known exposure and are not symptomatic. The 10 people flagged at major airports across the country. They're now required to check their temperatures twice daily. A precautionary measure to ensure that the state is ready to respond should someone become symptomatic. Local health officials say the likelihood of Ebola taking hold in Michigan is slim. There really isn't a reason for people to be panicked at this point in time. But at Saginaw's Covenant Hospital, they're still preparing for a possible Ebola case just to be safe. I think like every hospital in the U.S., um, the advent of having a patient in Texas raised everybody's awareness and alertness. While hospitals are on standby, the state's health department keeping a close eye on the 10 travelers. The Department of Community Health is not releasing much information about exactly where these 10 travelers are living in Michigan due to privacy reasons. We're also told they're working closely with local county health departments to make sure the travelers continue their self-monitoring. In the newsroom tonight, Walter Smith Randolph, NBC 25 News. Bill. Thanks, Walter.